Welcome back to KSN News at 6. Inman plans to celebrate their 150th anniversary of turkey wheat being brought to town in a really big way. Yeah, KSN's Derek Lytle spent time with a muralist who is working on a project within city limits that can be seen for miles. Mindy Allen turned her passion for art into a business. Mindy's murals was born. She now has requested to construct the largest one yet on a grain elevator in Inman. This is a huge, huge project for me. This is one of those things that it's like I have a checklist of things that I would love to be able to accomplish in my career, and this is definitely at the top. Starting work this week with the help of her daughter, they use a boom lift to raise Mindy up. That first step, drawing doodles all over the blank canvas, allowing her to look at certain sections of the design from the air. To get it on the building, I have to have some sort of a grid to follow. Otherwise, it's really difficult, especially at this size when you're looking at one of the wheat kernels being like 12 feet tall. It's really hard to just get up there and draw that. I can't step back and take a look at it. Something that Mindy hopes to complete within five weeks it takes to get to 108 feet to get to the top of where the mural will end. Ron Regeer with the Inman Museum says they've raised about a fourth of the money needed to complete the mural. It's not a cheap undertaking. We're probably pushing 145,000 on this one. Basically, it's all donations. Uh, there's no tax dollars involved at all in this. It's just people stepping forward and saying, hey, we want to get behind this. Inman hosting their Harvest Festival June 29th. Regeer wants the mural to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Turkey Wheat being brought to town. Just a tremendous amount of community pride. I think uh, people will have a lot of pride in this community. Mindy grew up in a farming family near Scott City. She hopes her art represents the town well. Driving down the highway and you can look over and see it. I love being able to do something like this for a town like Inman. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.